Hello everyone, good afternoon. It is a beautiful afternoon. This is my little home back here. It's beautiful. This is my garden. I got I won't I don't want to lie. I neglected my garden for a little bit. For the past three weeks, and as a matter of fact, since uh, the last time I was on here. I've neglected my garden. I've neglected you guys. And I've neglected a lot of life. Even look at my poor, you know, I was so proud of these things. I was so proud of these things and I let them die. Yeah, I let them die. Even these guys, I mean, look, the artifacts are here. The artifacts are here. The artifacts of neglect. Right there, see that stuff? Yeah, no good. You know, I haven't been good to my plants. Neither have I been good to my YouTube channel. And I just wanted to tell everyone that I am sorry for not being able to stay consistent as I should be. You know, I signed up for this YouTube channel to keep people informed of stuff. And for the past three weeks, I've been a little bit selfish. You know, I've been a little bit in a depression mode. It's been really tough for me to swallow all the things that I've been swallowing. You know, a lot of the stuff, the Afghanistan stuff, it just hits me in the fucking heart. You know, hard. And the nuts. And the gut. All at one time. You know, it's, uh, we deserve better than that. We deserve better than that. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. You see this guy out there? Oh, you see my, oh yeah, you see him right there? A little helicopter? Sweet, man. Well, anyways, uh, I wanted to tell everyone I, I apologize for being gone for the past three weeks. It's been some tough sw pills for me to swallow with all the stuff that's been going on. And it just freaked me out a little bit. It was just too much emotion for me to handle at one time. And I just want to let everyone know that I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me. Please give me another chance to keep you all informed with the stuff that's going on in this country. I'm back. I had to get over some stuff. And as a matter of fact, I want to share some of the stuff that really, really hit me in the gut. Uh, but uh, a couple people I wanted to apologize to. I wanted to apologize to my uh, my brothers in arms. Um, I should have been in Dallas last weekend. I wasn't, you know, not because I didn't have, you know, it's not because of a lack of respect for the fallen. It's because I'm 40 years old and I'm just starting a family. And my wife needs me. She needs me at home. And... I just don't know how safe I feel traveling anywhere with or without my wife right now. I mean, uh, and I'm not going to be scared by the Rona, but I'm definitely going to be aware. So anyways, uh, yeah, an another person, family, I want to apologize to. I don't know if you ever see this, but I just want to let you all know that uh, the Pink Soft family, I should have been there uh, uh, at Noah's wake last weekend. I'm so sorry I was not. Uh, he was very dear to me. You know, he had an important part in my life in the military and... Uh, if you want to look back to a 55 minute long video I did earlier, uh, I told my story and experienced them. And I just want to let you all know that no matter what has happened in the past, he's a brother in arms to me. And, you know, I really feel for his loss. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's talk about just a few things real quick. Um, tomorrow, I think that people should be checking out. I don't want to put any links on this thing because I don't want this to be you know, flagged or whatever reason, but tomorrow at 1 p.m., the Arizona Senate is going to be releasing a legitimate, legal, and fully recognized report on their election findings that they legally did. And yes, I am allowed to talk about it because this is America. So check that out. Just type in something like Karen Fan who's the president of the Senate in Arizona, type in Arizona audit election results. It's going to be released tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, the video I want to talk about is the video that really hit me in the gut. And as you all know, I'm a veteran of foreign war. Um, I've given this thing 20 years of mind, body, and soul. And... You know, just the, the way that these things ended in Afghanistan just really hit me in the gut. I understand what it's like to have questions about, was it all worth it? And 
all the stuff that's been done has just been, uh, it's, it's been hard. You know, so I've been really taking it to heart and that's why I've not been around. You know, I've been having to contain myself and purge myself of all this negativity that's going on. You know, I have a little girl on the way. You know, I'm very, very thankful and happy for that. And I got to pay attention to what's most important. That's what's most important. But this video, and I really think that all Americans should check this video out. It's a video about seven and a half minutes long. Uh, it is from, it's about a week old. It's from a guy named Brian Mast. He's a congressman from the state of Florida. And he, let me move this truck drive by. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is our awesome, awesome CDF, California Department of Fire. Awesome guys. We have a station right down the street from our house, but Brian Mast is a congressman who got blown up overseas and uh, and he has lost mobility of his legs. And it really hit him in the heart and the dick and the gut uh, when he had to talk about this stuff. And, you know, he's talking about tainted intelligence, uh, tainted intel. And I think it's something very important because in the age of information, you know, these people are making decisions based on intelligence more now than ever. And it's just, it just goes to show that when you fuck around with the wrong guy who's been a spec ops EOD guy and got his legs blown up, you know, you, this is what you're going to get. So, I mean, it started bringing tears out of my eyes last week when I saw this. It really hit me in the heart and the gut and the nuts. Uh, check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description, but take out the seven minutes to hear it because it's, you know, it's pretty emotional, but uh, thank you everyone for anyone that's going to watch this. I really do apologize to everyone who ha was watching my channel. Uh, please forgive me and please give me another chance to make this up to y'all. And I'm back on track. You know, the, uh, the band is back together and we're ready to do this. So, all right. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, maybe before this uh, huge uh, audit comes out. All right, guys. Thank you so much for giving me the uh, opportunity. Bye.